Are you struggling to conceive? You have options, and at Piedmont Reproductive Endocrinology Group, we'll make sure you have the guidance and support you need. Preg is known for individualized fertility care that's unique to every patient. We take the time to provide a reassuring and empowering experience because we believe that you deserve nothing less. Let us help you on your journey to parenthood. Visit us at pregonline.com to learn more. Get the guidance and support you need at Piedmont Reproductive Endocrinology Group. Oh, wow. Ooh, nice to be here. Wow. <laughs> Sun is shining bright and I'm up at 730 on Saturday. Isn't that a uh, wow? I am. <laughs> uh, I haven't done this in a while. So uh, where do we go from here? Hmm. Well, you know, as per usual, I'm going to have to dig my dirt after all. It is episode 267 and uh you know, here's a breakfast blend version of Welcome to the J Man Show here on G360 Radio. Between aging and busy lifestyles, many women struggle with maintaining their physical and mental wellness. At Aquavita Concierge Healthcare Services for Women, we can help you revitalize your health and reclaim your life. We start from within by balancing your hormones, allowing your body to achieve and maintain desired weight goals. We also specialize in peptide therapies, regenerative medicine, sexual health, and aesthetics in our state-of-the-art facilities. Feel better, look better, live better. At Aquavita, visit aquavitality.com and begin your journey today. With Lucky Land slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to... Has anyone seen the bride and groom? Sorry, sorry, we're here. We were getting lucky in the limo and we lost track of time. No, Lucky Land Casino, with cash prizes that add up quicker than a guest registry. In that case, I pronounce you lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Daily bonuses are waiting. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. <laughs> hey, how's it going, J360 Legion? How are you all doing today here for a bright and fresh Saturday morning? I am J-Man, of course, and you are listening to the J-Man Show 267 here on J360 Radio. Yeah, damn right. And let me just tell you this, though. It feels so good to be here this morning, because this week has been one hell of a crazy week in J360 Productions history. But first things first, how do you like your eggs? How do you want your French toast done? Do you want some bacon in the morning? Do you want some sausage? Or hey, would you like to go for the fan favorite, Scrapple? Because it is a breakfast blend episode. I am up so early and I'm feeling so bright and sunny about things. You know what? I even promised you breakfast, but you're not getting it from me. You either grub hub that stuff or get it your damn self. Make it magical, man. Make it magical. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you think I'm going to cook you some breakfast? Shoo, hell no. <laughs> I would, but I ain't. The thing is, like, right now, I'm just having a good time, guys. I'm on that utmost high and all. Like, this isn't a recording at all. This is actually 24 hours or so after Jams TV 3 landed yesterday. So, yeah, right here in the studio, bright as rain, ready to go. And as promised, I was going to give you a Saturday special anyway, but, hey, I didn't tell you it was going to be a breakfast blend episode. Now, for those of you that are somehow getting up at the same time as me or somehow wondering how you're up like me, uh, this is the perfect time to go ahead and discuss a few things. But why that this was a Hail Mary week is because everything that was planned, <laughs> whoo, everything that was planned did not go according to plan. Uh, put it that way. Like, for one thing, like, Jams TV 3 was set in the incubator, but we had to go ahead and make or break to get those tracks in on time. And then not to mention the videos, making sure they're properly aligned. Had to make sure, like, everything was in sequence because there were some that Premiere kind of read wrong. So I had to go ahead and work with Premiere all throughout the week to make sure, like, it was going to get things set and ready for us. I don't know if it was, like, an Adobe thing, but I do know that these these items by Adobe recently got updates, right? So maybe it's something going on with coding regarding that. But I was like, as long as you read the codec and render right, we good, you know? So it's always like a, um, let's say, double responsibility outside of, say, audio work. But audio work, 
is very technical too. So, you know, you can't really just say one without the other. There has to be a sequence here. And believe me, sequencing was ridiculous regarding producing Jams TV3. I mean, like right there, leading up to Friday, I got to say, that was make or break, <laughs> you know? I mean, I've been through some tough scrapes before when it comes to editing, but that one was that one was to the benchmark, you know what I mean? I just managed to get that episode rendered by 7 o'clock p.m., and then I had to go ahead and t- throw it up on YouTube to make sure, like, it would hit that 10 o'clock deadline. So it's not because of, you know... It's it's not because of laziness or anything. It's because like things were going beyond my control. But I was like, hell no with that. I'm gonna give these people a show at ten, whether I gotta go ahead and do it live on OBS or whether I gotta do it on like any sort of other way. That's what it was. And man, when I had that stuff set and ready, I was like, BAM <laughs> And at ten o'clock it played. But also you gotta realize, um, I wasn't there at the premiere this time. I knew about it. I had it set. I sent things out to everybody. And, of course, you know, like, how the ripple effect grows around here. People do come and see the show and stuff. But it's like, yeah, like, whew, really went all in on that. And I had no choice but to go to sleep at that point. Because, also, there was another series premiere that was supposed to happen. And you see the cyclone was supposed to happen, but issues happened with that too. The product that we were going to use did not work. It did not work for anything. I mean, we all, well, me and Marco came together and like we were there, but then like, you know, Al had a little bit of trouble at his job. So, you know, circumstances really went beyond our control that whole event. And I'm just like, oh my God, like... You know, we're a man down, and not to mention, like, we can't even broadcast out to you guys because of issues beyond our control. So we had to hop over to, like, some other programming to get there. And you know what? We went by old standby for a minute, but then I was like, no, there's another. So I found another streaming net, and we went ahead and we jumped on that in addition to, you know, trying to figure out what to present. But here's the thing. It was in the back of my mind. We doing Hangouts. So then all of a sudden, like, you know, whereas the Cyclone didn't fly this week, Hangouts, you know, revived itself. So, you know, one show begat another show, pretty much. And in doing so, it was just cool, because, you know, like, we were riding on the Hangouts high, flying on all cylinders and stuff. It was amazing. And then not to mention, people in the J360 Legion were openly receptive to a Hangouts episode, which was, like, incredible. You know what I mean? Hangouts 34 came out of what the Cyclone 1 was supposed to be. So, you know, it's just like one way or another. People ask me, Jay, why do you have so many shows? That would be one of the reasons why. And the fact that we had that there, it was just like, boom. You know what I mean? (laughs) And and to a thunderous applause, too, because there were a lot of people that agreed with what me and Marco said. Like, they just enjoyed the whole conversation. Which, you know, technically... That's what Hangouts should be about. Like, you know, there's a reason why I didn't retire that series, regardless of what people back in the day try to say, or they try to be like, uh, you know, we were trying to do But as soon as 34 hit, people knew where we were coming from. It's kind of like um, that time I took a little bit from the J-Man show, but I came back, and people thought it was a recording, but it was actually live. <laughs> And, um, yeah, they finally were like, yeah, we understand where you're coming from with these shows. So, you know, it's just the way it is. But right then and there, I was like, where one show, you know, is held up by technical difficulties. The other show came in and just saved the whole evening and really saved the week. If anything, Hangouts really paving the way for this week led to, like, how Jams TV 3, you know, was getting all together so it was like one way or another the patch up work the work ethic staying tenacious about things that'll help you out so if you're ever sitting on twitter and you see like some of these creative types talking about how do you stay creative even though you feel like uh it just doesn't come to you well in the j-man school of doing so if you have an obligation if you have something that needs to get done take care of it ahead of time before it becomes a real problem 
And then you might find yourself getting caught up in something else and not doing what you told the people that you were going to do. You got to respect the game and the fans a lot better than that. And sitting on social media talking about all that kind of crap is not going to help you in the end. But we'll go ahead and we'll take care of social media like we normally do anyway on these shows because people, once again, go a little too far about what they bring out on the social media and all that jazz. It, it's it's insane where we are as people, but it's like, I get it. You know, you want to talk to people, you want to reach out to people, and that's a decent question. It's, it's a lot more decent than a lot of the questions I get on the daily, put it that way. But it's like, nah, you see what I'm saying? But, you know, after a while, like, with me, I, I guess because I just want to do it. You know what I mean? I just want to get it done. I just want to put out great content for you guys and, you know, keep things, keep the conversation flowing and keep you guys interested and just, we, you know, we build on about it. We share ideas, we exchange different things and, you know, give or take, like a lot of you guys like having me around. So, you know, it's a win-win and that's what I look forward to, which is why, like, you know, I pushed this show up to Saturday because I knew I had a lot to do in this week ahead. And, man, while it was interesting how things would be if the plan actually stuck together, it is very interesting to see how the plans actually shifted and then became something even more fierce. So, yeah. And if you think about it, what with Jams TV's inclusion, you're kind of getting the J360 Jams programming uh, weekly at this point instead of bi-weekly, if you think about it. So, that not that interesting, right? But all in all, like I say, you know, we started with the mini bites, and then we went over into Hangouts, which was originally the Cyclone. Then we go into Jams TV three, which is both both shows are doing beautifully at this point. Like as soon as they hit, people are just really going to J three sixty TV right now, as intended. And then there's people that are still listening to Jams fifty two. I'm just like, wow. I'm just. <laughs> just smooth sailing here man you know all i gotta do now is just hit you guys with a powerful episode in addition to a j-man show episode so i'm not implying anything and at the same time if you pay attention you might know something there but that's just like awesome as hell you know and it just feels so good it's like a reflex <laughs> but man oh man that was a hail mary play because, I mean, like, you know, burning on all cylinders like that. And then not to mention, I still got things to do for you guys next week. Because, oh my god, now I just realized. We did all that stuff here on the alternative week. Wow. Alternative schedule and everything. Like, all the days move up by one during the alt schedule. So keep that in mind, too, for those of you that stumble upon this show. I was just like, huh. See, isn't that wicked? And then, you know, even though I didn't catch the Jams TV 3 premiere, I've seen the show enough times to where I can actually recite it on cue. But <laughs> that's the life of an editor, you know. But you see, the also thing is I'm able to do this show for you guys live. So in a way, everything just checks out. So eh, I ain't mad. I'm just, you know, feeling kind of godly right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? All without the ego. You see? So that's how, how it's going with that. By the way, football is back. Uh, speaking of which, in reference to the Cyclone, I will say it's good to have football back. It's a sign that it's soon enough we're all going to be going ahead, carving pumpkins, then eventually, in some areas, probably building some snowmen and getting ready for Santa to come and all that kind of stuff. And then somehow realize how broke we are by next year's coming. But it is what it is, you know. And, and I love, like, the time of the year, you know, where it's fall going into winter. But at the same time, I just don't care for the ice and the snow on the road. And then not to mention, like, uh, some of the other insanity that goes on during the holidays. But, you know, like I say, it's like a rite of passage. And, like, seeing um, the Buffalo Bills come out strong against the Rams, that was actually pretty cool. So, I don't know. Maybe it might be a happy time for Al this, this <laughs> once in a season. Once in a, The blue moon is coming, Alan. The blue moon is coming. <laughs> Yeah, he still ain't getting nothing coming to Cleveland, though. But then again, I really shouldn't say that because, you know, this is my take on it. And I was going to save it for a Cyclone episode, but I'm going to let you guys know it now because, hey, we're going to carry the torch. You're going to get that show, but we might as well carry the torch when it's not on. Uh, I feel that we're going to have one of them strange seasons this year. You know, one of those seasons where, like, even the Dolphins... The Dolphins might become top tier at this point, or like, you know, the Titans will actually, well, the Titans aren't really that bad unless they work on like, 
It's, 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 they got to work on their defense, I want to say, but they're not bad offensively. Uh, as for, like, Cleveland, which <laughs> the, the jury's still out on Cleveland. Even Cleveland, you know, once again could have a chance of something. But the Buffalo Bills being at that top right there, let's see how they maintain it because everybody's playing Sunday. And, you know, I got to be there with my Eagles gear on, and there's no shows that day, baby. Uh, yeah, I am going to be <laughs> acting the fool. I'm going to be going ahead, flapping my arms around, doing the Eagles yells, and spelling the Eagles again. I'm not doing it right now, but I will be later. Mm-hmm. Because, yeah, this is that time of the season, man. Mm. It's kind of like when it's basketball season and I take the time to actually get some memes together and spam my girlfriend's inbox and stuff <laughs> just because I can. Uh, <laughs> I love it. Oh, yeah. But as I'm telling you all that, it's not like she's going to know about that right yet because I have something different in plan for that one. Oh, wait, I'm I'm live on the air, so she probably knows. Uh, anyway, anyway, it is what it is on that one. But, yeah, totally spam her inbox full of uh, ball is life memes and all. <laughs> because I can't wait for that. Because think about it. Eagles getting their second Super Bowl win. Building something there. And then the 76ers getting their finals cup. And then, you know, we're building something there. And then, like... Oh, what if the Flyers actually brought the chip back too? Man, the whole city of Philly will be rocking. And it's about due time too. Because uh, um, looking over at the Phillies, the Phillies have done okay. They've done okay. You know, a lot better than last year. So, I mean, you know, I can't I can't knock it too much. So, But there are moments where we still show we still got the same old problem. But, you know, but, but maybe, who knows? If all this winning comes into play, and all of this building comes into play, and by the powers combined, this would be the time to make the city look in a positive light, if not already. And before any of you tell me how delusional I am, shut up. It's still early, okay? And not only that, I'm allowed to have this dream, all right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I said it. I'm allowed to have that dream, man. Like I said, yeah. NFL champs, Philadelphia Eagles, for the second time. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, I'm allowed to have it, okay? This is my moment. But also, as I sit here and I'm wondering, because as I say that, though, I'm sure my older brother is probably gagging. See, <laughs> I got another older brother that is an Eagles fan, a very wise man, but then I got another, another brother that actually is a... Well, they used, to, they used to have a name. Now they got the the commander's name, which at the same time, it's like, what a stupid name. Why don't you just call yourself like Washington Warriors or something? But, you know, of course, you know, or actually just stay football team because really nobody know you if you had a name or a logo at the time. But there's a lot of lot I can throw at you guys about that right off the bat. But yeah, he's probably sitting there throwing up in his mouth as I say about like the Eagles supremacy. I do have a friend named uh <laughs> I do have a friend out there that's crazy about the Cowboys, even more so than Marco is. So he he's probably choking to death on the idea of the Eagles supremacy. But hey, that's what y'all get. You know what I mean? Y'all haven't been relevant in years, so that's what y'all get. Simple as that. And then I'll go after you Packers fans a little bit later. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah like i said before isn't that the reason why we the reason for the season isn't that why football is so great so that we can all just chime in and and rib at each other all the time while at the same time throwing facts about eagle supremacy just letting you all know that and, and by the way uh to my friends in massachusetts <laughs> your dynasty's broke just be quiet he's in tampa okay Talk about the glory days. <laughs> yeah, you should have seen it so that you could have some some mention there. But then again, the foundation is gone, isn't it? Ah, salute to you, old mass. <laughs> Actually, uh, he's another podcaster. He knows who he is. I just figured I'd go ahead and uh, let some of y'all know that. If anyway, this is your moment of getting a spotlight on the J-Man show. So enjoy it as I rib at you. Uh, but yeah, football is back, baby, and fall season is coming in the full swing, you know, so I'm enjoying it, but it, it is what it is, though in some areas people are talking about like massive heat waves like the West is going through that right now, so mm, 
Yeah, see, we, we ain't going through that here. And in, in DE weather, it is a mixture of whose smog are we inhaling today? So I think it's coming from um, I think it's coming from Philly today, but it'll probably come from Jersey or New York, like in the afternoon. It really just depends. And then again, <laughs> you know, Baltimore's kind of smuggy too. Nothing but respect, though. Nothing but respect, though. I got people in Baltimore, you know. I got, I got to stay up for them. Um, all in all, the, oh, and those of you in Virginia, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all okay, too, I, I guess. <laughs> but, hey, moving forward, though, I'm in such a great damn mood today, you know. What with everything just looking so good and positivity all up in the works. But I can't be too positive, though, because allegedly there's a thing called toxic positivity. Uh, you know, I was going to go ahead and deep dive into that one, but, you know, my nose started to itch and then my head started to hurt and I just felt allergic to like whatever these terms could be. You know, it's kind of like when you feel like, you know, you're empowered and then like some people try to say, you're using toxic masculinity, Jay. And I'm like, how the hell am I doing that by just telling people that they can be more than what they are? And note I said people because I don't keep it like gender lock unlike certain things. But it's just amazing how people like to go ahead and try to undercut people for like spreading some good growth here. Now, I'll tell you this. I'm not everybody's cup of tea. Hell, I'm barely some people's shot of whiskey. And at the same time, it's like, you know, a lot of people always try to say, like, or undervalue what I say. And the truth is, is that I can go ahead and one-up you one way or another by letting you know that what I'm saying is fact. You can be more than what you are. You can be incredible at things. And then there are times where, you know what, you might need to go away. You might need to take a break. There might be some time where it's like this. It's okay to take one day of doing nothing. I'm still trying to master that myself because, you know, it's a labor of love here, baby. And if it, I, I ain't maintaining it, you know, it feels like, you know, nobody is. But the thing about it is, it's like, um, once again, you got to treat and take care of yourself in addition to what you work on as your job, you know? And as I say that, that's like the best mental health I can give you for right now because everybody talks about mental health, but people don't try to apply any sort of care to mental health. I mean, there's always somebody in the spotlight that's suffering through issues with their mental health, but then at the same time, there's always somebody pointing and laughing at it or they're always making a meme about it or they're always like pointing out facts that the person that we're supposed to be um, giving a damn about is not exactly legitimate in their cause. And then there's a whole lot of misinformation and just, it's, it's a giant bubble of spam and mess. And it's not even the good spam you eat with eggs either. Which, by the way, if you want that, it's still the breakfast blend, but you're going to cook it your damn self. See? Because I just gave you a stroke of independence right there. You get to cook it your damn self. Do it. Do it. <laughs> but you see, that should actually boost your mental health of anything because you're handling it yourself. And I have the utmost faith in you. Not blind faith, but utmost. Now, um, as I'm talking about mental health right off the bat, I'm talking about, like, how these two top streamers for, like, Twitch or YouTube or whatever, you know, like, I don't follow other people like that to jump on their tw their stream, unless you're, like, a real good friend of mine or you're, like, another content creator that is trying to get their name out there. I don't mind helping you, but, you know, be legitimate in your cause and your niche and all that kind of stuff so I could help you. Don't be doing this just for the numbers and all that kind of stuff because I'm not going to help you then. But these two top streamers are actually taking time off from, you know, streaming on Twitch or whatever their programs are because, you know, issues with mental health and all that stuff. But also these said two top streamers are actually did something controversial in their own respective spaces and now they have to be out of the public light. But like I say, even if the second thing is true, it's like, once again, it went right to mental health, Right. Now, I can't say that people don't suffer anything when they're performing and stuff, or I can't say people don't suffer anything when they're um, dealing with any sort of problems in life, but I want to say this, though. If you got to take a break, take a break, okay? I know a lot of people, when it comes to being responsible for things, or somebody holds them to account on things, they cite mental health and the reason why their behavior is. Oh, yeah, I, I'm a complete D-bag because I, I, I felt a certain way and and, and, and I, I can't control myself, you know? I, I take pills and all these other things. I blah, 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 blah. List goes on and on. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. You know what I mean? He might have said bullshit. 
<laughs> yeah, you almost got me there. But then again, I think you probably did, so it is what it is. We tried to play the cuss game here at the J-Man Show. But uh, what I'm saying is, regarding mental health, though, people use that as a crutch and an excuse to try to get away with things. So as somebody does that, it gets harder to believe what it's all about because there were people in the olympics that did that like simone biles mentioned you know her mental health which is why she couldn't perform in the games like anything and i can understand that not to mention what happened with the nazar trial and all you know but we could go ahead and say like the flashes of things or how people get triggered and how stigma goes into play varies amongst people and it does Mm -hmm. how like how far trauma goes for others is a lot different like the things that affect me you know, are a lot different than, say, like, things that would probably affect my lady or, like, Marco or anybody else. But the thing about it is, it's like, I always say, why did you start doing the thing in the first place? You know? Like, why did you start creating stuff? Like, there are times, like, where if I'm triggered, which rarely happens, but at the same time, I'm just a very rowdy person anyway, especially, like, when it's something I am passionate about. You know what I mean? There ain't no mental health going on there. I just, <laughs> I'm just in the mood to go ahead and do what I got to do. You know what I mean? <laughs> but it's, it's interesting to note because, see, people will cite this stuff, but at the same time, you always wonder, are they getting the treatments that they deserve? And then, like, you realize, like, it's to the point when they stop liking what they do. Well, isn't the whole thing about, like, if you ever feel like quitting, ask yourself why you started, right? Like, remember, and I said this, like, last episode, like, remember when things were actually enjoyable? Remember when things were actually fun? Like, you you know, there were moments where, like, when I would put on the Cyclone, and it wasn't fun. There were moments where I put on, like, jams, and it wasn't fun. Or, like, I've done a hangout where I've actually phoned it in, you know? But the thing about it is, I also remember why I do these things, and it's because, well, you know, you the fans out there, you guys look forward to this stuff, you guys want to enjoy these things, and you never know, some of these episodes, regardless of take your pick, or like, which one actually outperforms the other one, or any of that stuff, I don't care about that, that's just extra thinking, that's just too much to put on a plate at a time, you should look at like, you know, your mindset kind of like a plate and what your portions are. That's what you should look at it as. Like what you can process, what you can handle at the time. And if it's too much to chew, it's just too much to chew, you know? So you don't really worry about your analytics and sell like, let's say, first day of the month all the way to the last day of the month. And then you just see like how things have changed at that point because it's just a more accurate data look. If you got to be about the analytics of things. But if you're looking at it every hour on the hour, every day, I mean, stop. You're hurting yourself. That's just not the way that works, you know? And then some people nowadays, they it's the, the streaming game has gotten a lot easier for anybody to jump into. To the point where, like, your next door neighbor's kid could be streaming and probably gets more views than you. And you wonder why that is. But at the same time, you're going to be poisoning yourself for getting all about who you are, what you stand for, what exactly are you selling in your shop, worrying about other people. That's why I don't worry about certain content creators that float around, that been in this game too long, and they never took breaks to the point where they don't even know who the hell they are anymore. They're more disassociated than anything. I'll take a break, you know. I'll go ahead and find a way to get away from stuff for a little bit, but I know I got to come back, and I know I got to fulfill that obligation. That episode or whatever special project that I have needs to be made. And it's not because, like, I have to. It's because, you know, I made a promise, and I know that this needs to be followed through. You see what I'm saying? This has to be followed through. It's like paying a bill, you know. That bill will bother you next month, But at the same time, it's not going to bother you with a penalty because you missed the payment. See, it's little things like that. But, like, when I look at these two main streamers that, you know, IGN has to let you know about anytime they either pee in a box or whatever, I I, I don't know. But the point is, it's like, you got to know about their personal lives, all the stuff they go through, all the stress that it takes to produce content. And then for anybody that's like me that produces content on the daily and really just looks at this stuff and then just says, you know what, the publicists involved in all this kind of stuff, the whole media machine behind this gets no pity from me because at the same time, nobody gives a damn about like me on this level. And even if I had the money and status to where those two are, 
part, I don't think I would tell them that. I would just say, like, you know what? I'm taking a break. And that's it. It doesn't have anything to do with my mental health and all that kind of stuff. My mental health is my responsibility. It's not the world's responsibility and all. Awareness of it, yeah, that's great. Um, Telling me where I could go get help. Telling me where I could go ahead and who I could speak to. What call line is there to hear me. Um, You know, those kind of things. Those are important, yes. But at the same time, it's like it's not the world's issue about like what I go through. And if I don't feel like making content at this point, that's fine. I can go to work somewhere else. I could go ahead and handle other things. Depending on the contracts and stuff, because there's a lot of people within that machine, it's not just them doing it. You know what I mean? The publicist, the um, the agent, uh, the other person that's in charge of the finances that's secretly pocketing money. The list goes on and on about what's in that entourage, but it's there, you know? And you see, like, some people could say, like, streaming has ruined a lot of things because a lot of people are angry at streamers these days. Have you noticed, like, some people get angry because people are streaming? Or, like, say, like, uh, your your girlfriend could be a top streamer, but, you know, at the same time, you're sitting there mad as hell because she has more views than you do. Like, once again, I'm making that other example. But at the same time, it's like, you know what? You're worried about things that you know, you're, you're making more problems come to light than anything at that point. But as per usual, you're not thinking about your own mental health because at best you should not really focus about that. Have some fun. And then while you're at it, talk to the people. And then while you're also at it, just enjoy the damn thing. Be like, yeah, I ain't got those numbers yet, but I'm gonna get there. Oh yeah. I'm gonna climb up here. Oh yeah. The subscription went up because Hey, they like me for me. That's what matters. You know, now, is it an upward climb? Yeah. If you don't have certain tatas and all that kind of stuff and things that make things appealing because sex does sell. I don't care what a feminist says about these things. And I don't really care about what a soy, uh, what a soy infested model American man says. <laughs> sex does sell. And people be looking at all that kind of stuff, too. That's, that's what they do. But here's the thing. Don't worry about that. If it's not a key component of your shop, I don't think you should worry about it too much. I think you should go ahead and worry worry more or less about what would happen if things actually become successful and you get all those views. You get all those the numbers and stuff. You get all that money. You know, be prepared for all that kind of stuff. Me, on the other hand, I have a contingency plan. I'm ready for it. So that's why like, I keep doing what I do. I don't even worry that much. I worry much about like, hmm, did I get canceled this week or not? You know, that's the kind of thing for me. But, you know, you should plan a name for that, too. That's how you stop cancel culture, because it's like this. It's about time y'all got my damn, you got my damn mail and stuff. It's about time that you were willing to fight against me. I'm ready. Oh, you ready? (laughs) I think about that all the time when I'm on Twitter, because, like, you know, when we were doing the Hangouts episode, it actually streamed to Twitter. And um, <laughs> I was hoping that some of those damn people would show up. I'd be like, yeah, this is what I want. I didn't get it, though. Maybe Christmas. But, yeah, it's just things to think about. Like, what I'm trying to say, really, in case you didn't put it together, you're stronger than, like, what people take as a weakness and a crutch. Mental health is not a crutch for being a D-bag. Mental health is not a crutch for being entitled and needing attention. I think those two top streamers that they were talking about are two of the biggest attention whores I've ever seen in a long time. And the truth is, it's like, it's probably not just them. It's probably all that follows them. And then not to mention watching their, their fans debate each other on who has the most, uh, just shut up, you know? Cause that's not fun either. That's a toxic environment within itself, but we can go all day about what the public knows and how they handle things like streaming Twitch and YouTube and, all that jazz. But once again, try to keep like the things that affect your mental health out of it if you can. And if you got to take a break, take a break. But don't expect the world to 100% give a damn about that stuff. You know? I, I, I don't know what the end game is for people that do that either. I, I really don't get it. Because it's like, you know, in addition to knowing about your problem, I got my own problem. And my own problem is not going to nullify itself. Because, much like you, I get to see your appearance 
But I also get to see my own problems appearance. But I see my own problem appearance a lot quicker and faster. And I don't need to be influenced by what the hell you're going through. So what do y'all got to go? And since that damn thing is paying rent because it's over here, I think your freeloading ass needs to go, talking to the streamers and all. You know what I mean? You just got to know how to deci- decide and decipher and then like really work your circle out. That's how you're actually going to handle that mental health uh, tough talk there. But then again, I'm being uh, toxic in my own way because I'm telling you stuff that you don't want to hear. <laughs> you know? I don't want to hear that, Jay. You hurt me. <laughs> oh, hey, that's okay. I live in a day and age where if I shine a flashlight on you now, that's harassment. So shut up. Uh, list goes on and on. But speaking of Twitch, though, uh, I've been sitting here thinking about what to do with the Twitch channel. I know that I said I was going to use it for special projects, and I still am. Uh, as for, like, other things that are going down, you know, like, yeah, it's it's still part of J360 TV. I just would like everybody to go to the YouTube channel because guess what? That's where everything goes. You know, it's like I'd rather you guys go where everything is so you know and then you don't have like a 60-day time limit on it. But before any of you chime up and say, well, if you go for affiliation and partner, you never have to worry. I don't care. Thank you. And another reason by that is I have that other stuff for free. So you guys can just go there and look at it, enjoy the content that is on YouTube just as well as over at Twitch and all. But the only reason why I just don't care about partner is is because I know how this goes. Say like you are working your way to get to that point and then you get there, great. But at the same time, it's going to be a little harder for others too because these companies like YouTube, Twitch, uh, well, not BitChute. BitChute's a little different, but like, you know, certain certain companies that focus on the streaming aspect, like let's say Facebook Gaming, uh, it's always a numbers game, and at best, algorithm game too. So you know, moving the goalposts is up and all that kind of stuff. That doesn't help people's mental health either. So that goes hand in hand with the previous conversation. But it's like, yeah, they're gonna move the goalposts up as soon as like people get to those numbers and those locations. That's what it was the first time. Because everybody was getting successful, and then they were like, hey, we have to cap this somehow. Otherwise, because we won't be able to control other people, and then we won't be able to sell them our nonsense. See? It's all about control if you think about it. If you get to that point in that level where, like, nothing can control you, or, you know, like, you're up really, really high, or you're really, really low, it's like one of those kind of situations. Whereas, uh... We on the J360 train, we are going for the highs, but the thing about it is we're going for the highs on other ways. I mean, we could use the TikTok to do things too, but, you know, honestly, I see TikTok. I understand TikTok. No, I don't. I don't understand TikTok. I see TikTok. That's about as far as I'm going to go. The hell with it. Uh, (laughs) You know, I'm serious. Like, even with Snapchat, when that was big, I really didn't. I really didn't care. You know what I'm saying? Because I know, like, if this is one thing that we have, this has to be maintained. If it's not being maintained, well, uh, more power to it. A lot of people want to do the viral thing. If you want to do the viral thing, yeah, I guess TikTok's all for you. But deep down the inside, it's like, no, I, I don't care at this point. I'll be throwing some more stuff over there. But at the same time, it's like, mm, eh. you know what I mean? I shrug about a lot of these things, but... Because, you know, sometimes as long as I get my message out and as long as you guys are hearing it and if I'm marketing this stuff well, you know, you already know about me. But the thing about it is some people want to go ahead and do all the stupid things that the cool kids do so that they can get those numbers up faster. It's like a drug almost. But, yeah, it's like one of those things that I think of all the time. But either way, since I got, like, all this stuff going with J360 TV right now, along with, you know, the ideas of the YouTube booming, and then the Twitch, on the other hand, is looking okay, I think we're going to be fine. And especially after doing, like, the Space Force Summer Bash, like, the Twitch was doing great. So, yeah, it's not completely out of the picture. It's just like, you know, we are looking into what exactly we're going to be bringing to the table over there because we got a lot of stuff going on at the youtube channel which by the way if you're interested uh like and subscribe over at our channel which is youtube.com slash j360 productions okay that way like you know you're in the know over there and the mini bites go over there too in addition to uh sota or soda if you will shout outs to my soda heads out there yeah uh, i gotta let you guys know about that like you know the 
the fan base for the J360 Productions is the J360 Legion. In addition to the people who are fans of Soda, we call them Soda Heads. So that's how that goes. And what about the Jam Fam? Oh, the Jam Fam are musical clients and family and the tribe of J360 Productions. They are very valuable people. Trust me on this. So, you know, it's just really, really cool, guys. And I'm laying out all the stuff here as we go. It's just, it's not a one-day journey. This is this is really going to be a trial of different journeys. And it's going to be fun. I'd say so. Like, But once again, you don't see me go ahead citing my mental health and then running at you all acting really, really foolish about things. Even though at the same time, I do go Super Saiyan and fight on my own terms. But you understand. <laughs> Especially if you've been a fan this long. And the things that I didn't cover in that Hangouts episode, well, you know, I'll cover them at another time. And by the way, make sure you clean up your plates when you're all done because we're about to tie up all this stuff for the breakfast blend today. Uh, those who have been asking me about the Power Play series, yes, that's still going on. We're just working out, um, there's like a bug that pops up in there and messes with like uh, the audio regarding the PlayStation gaming. So while we're working on that, you know, we do have more content coming your way soon. You just got to stay tuned to see about it. Um, what's going to happen is I'm going to have a grid all set up and ready for you guys so you know, like, what content goes where and all. That way, so it's a lot easier for you. I know that we make a lot of stuff here, and everybody's like, dang, Jay, I'm sorry I missed the show, but you're hard to keep up with. <laughs> and you'd be right. So I'm going to go ahead and work on alleviating that for you. We used to actually have a feature called... Um, uh, it was like the latest in J360, so you all could have that whole thing. But, yeah, yeah. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Used to, huh? All right, well, I got something to go ahead and focus on. But, you know, that about does it for this convo today. I hope that you all enjoy yourself. And I hope those of you that thought that J-Man rages all the time instead of actually having a legitimate talk finally learned a valuable lesson that <laughs> you're wrong. Because you are. And not only that, though, you guys have a great Saturday. We will meet up again soon. Y'all take it easy, and peace to you. This is J-Man signing off. Round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire, huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. Chumba. That's right. Chumbacasino.com has over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumba. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Full work limited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. With the Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. With the Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.